I fell asleep last night. That's looking good. We'll do a stretch shoot like we did, what, a few months ago in our training. Just methodical, you know, do your reloads and all that. Think about what you're doing. We're moving forward and don't get any closer than the stick. Put three rounds in them in the middle. Everybody good? You know, I wanted to be a game warden since I was young. It's been a truly a, a, a gratifying and rewarding experience. 18 rifle, 26 pistol. Chris's goals are to ensure that in 20 years, in 30 years, and 40 years from now, that game wardens in Texas are a vital aspect of Texas law enforcement. Chris supervises the special operations unit that yeah. consists of tactical operations and uh, the criminal investigation division. Law enforcement in general has changed. Everybody's going specialized, trying to be the best at what they do. We picked them uh, up down there at the far end of the lake. To yeah, make it. We try to increase the capabilities of game wardens and the specialization with training and equipment to where we can perform tasks that we haven't always been able to. I base out of Austin and I'm generally there maybe a few days a week. Otherwise, there's something going on somewhere in the state all the time. As much as I can, I like to travel, uh, be with the guys when they're working and see what they need and just show them the support. We talk on the phone probably 10 times a day on average. I talk to Chris probably more than I do my wife and kids combined. One more on the right, one more on the right. Firearm training is, is very important. It's something that you hope you never have to use, but if you do, you want to be proficient at it. The scout team is our tactical unit doing border ops. Uh, we do high risk warrants and any of the needs that the field game warden may need a tactical unit for. We try to leverage what game wardens do best, and that's working in rural environments. And part of that is land navigation, tracking. So we work with our GPSs and even compasses and maps to navigate through rural environments. It's my job and responsibility to ensure with K-9, as with the other teams, that we move forward and help them logistically with their needs so that they can go out and perform their functions and, and do, do what they do best. Chris has got great ideas, very progressive. This whole team concept, he's had a large role in implementing that and getting us spun up. Chris understands the, the politics behind change and that change is a constant evolution. It doesn't Leadership, to me, it means supporting and doing what you can for the people that you work with so that you can put them in the best position to be successful. If you're not changing, if you're sitting still, you're moving backwards. And I hope that I'm a part of positive change within the department and the law enforcement division in particular.